the European Union is an increasingly important actor for conflict prevention and crisis management. This is why, three times a year, we at Crisis Group use our watch list to address what the EU can do to strengthen global peace prospects. As of October 2022, the EU and its Western allies continue their balancing act of providing support to Ukraine while avoiding direct confrontation with Moscow. The Europeans are also grappling with the economic and undesired uh, consequences of their response, which is producing more instability. Russia's war in Ukraine has appended the European security order, posed the gravest threat to the continent in decades and made the future of Europe more uncertain. This is why Ukraine remains a key priority also in this issue of our EU watch list. In Ukraine, a new and dangerous phase looms ahead. Ukraine has gained momentum in the battlefield after a phase of successful counterattacks, but Russia has not backed down, annexing large parts of its territory with sham referenda and also threatening the use of nuclear force. And the Europeans and its allies should not change course. They should keep providing political, military and economic support to Kyiv to prevent the Russian victory, which could have even graver consequences than the current fighting. In addition, they should keep the door open to a potential settlement, leverage its sanctions to make it more likely, increase uh, its humanitarian support, and help investigate war crimes and human rights abuses. The EU's response has so far been successful to help Ukraine resist the Russian aggression, but its economic shockwaves are having serious implications elsewhere in the world, compounding pre-existing hardship. The EU should be more open to acknowledging other states' interests. Most importantly, the European Union should take much more time, energy and resources to deal with other major crises in the world. These are those that we address in this watch list. Violence is on the rise in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo due to fighting between the military and the March 23 movement. At the same time, attacks against civilians and internally displaced persons in camps are on the rise. The Congolese president has asked support to regional allies, but plans are still in the making. Meanwhile, diplomatic and demobilization efforts are not making progress. In order to address instability in Eastern DRC, the UNIT's member state should refrain from funding the regional force until there is more clarity on the effectiveness and safeguards of, of the force, work with partners to shape up uh, negotiation efforts, and support disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration efforts in the new community-based approach. In Sri Lanka, despite the relative calm since the protests that pushed former President Rajapaksa uh, out in July, the interlocking economic and political crisis remain very acute. The new president has worked to secure an agreement with the International Monetary Fund for a bailout loan to heal the country's economic holes. But the economic reform plan can increase the hardship and the anger of the people. On the political front, uh, the government has increased cracking down on the protest movements, seemingly uh, to avoid criticism and pushback against the economic reform plans. To avert the possibility of further violence, the EU and its member states should make it clear that they would support the bailout only against real efforts towards parliamentary elections as soon as possible, the economic reforms and the real efforts against corruption. They should insist on protecting the most vulnerable through these economic reforms and state that their preferential trade scheme stays conditioned on a moratorium on arrests and full compliance with human rights. In Venezuela, tensions with President Maduro's government are entering a less turbulent phase. Most opposition forces are scaling back their tactics and entering a less confrontational approach. There are also signs of change in the U.S. posture. After the Maduro government pulled out of talks in Mexico City, the U.S. entered direct discussions with the government, trying to nudge them back in the diplomatic negotiations, also in exchange of lifting some sanctions. A return to dialogue is possible. In this context, the EU should push the U.S. to roll back its maximum pressure strategy work with Latin American states and partners to help revive uh, talks in Mexico City, continue providing critical aid uh, for the humanitarian situation in Venezuela and migrants in the region, and help shape a better environment for elections in 2024. Climate distress is compounding conflicts across the whole of Africa. Droughts and floods uh, have been making land unusable, pushing people outside their homes and forced them to compete for resources. The whole region would benefit from more climate adaptation efforts. And although this changes from country to country, they all have a common denominator, more funding and better governance structures. Although the EU has been at the forefront of climate financing, there is still more that can be done. 
The EU should increase its climate adaptation efforts in conflict areas in cooperation with local partners. It should address local governance and help to protect the most vulnerable to climate risks. Uh, it should also help strengthen regional early warning system and also push the United Nations Security Council to take a much more proactive role in addressing climate and security risks. These are the five conflicts where we recommend the European Union to increase its efforts to help prevent, mitigate and resolve violent conflict.